Some of the bravest people in society are those who fight massive bushfires to keep everyone else safe. While others are safeguarding their belongings and fleeing to safety, these heroes are headed toward the flames. But what most don't know is that there is a team of rescuers who rush in right afterwards to save any animals. And two years ago, one of the most experienced animal rescuers in the world was confronted with an unusual sight, an animal that no one had ever seen before. That was when one of the worst bushfires in modern history hit Australia in 2020. Millions of hectares of land were wiped out and dozens of people were killed. The entire country was virtually powerless against the terrifying forces of nature. Australia is no stranger to bushfires, with a dry season causing more than a handful each year. But between 2019 and 2020, it was a season that none of the residents will ever forget. The black smoke coming from the forest and trees were so thick that months later it was still in the air. And not only that, but it was spotted by people on the other side of the Pacific Ocean in Argentina. The level of destruction was hard to comprehend, but no one was ready for what was found at Kangaroo Island. That was one of the hardest hit areas in southern Australia. Firefighters fought for days to keep back the flames, but there was only so much they could do. Locals were forced to flee by boat while their homes and property turned to dust. But animals weren't so lucky. It was too difficult to get them out in time and many of them didn't stand a chance. Kelly Donathan was one of the people trying to protect these animals. If it were up to her, every single one of them would have been rescued, but she didn't have enough resources. While most of the country was worried about evacuating people from their homes, her main concern was the animals. Kelly's entire life had been geared toward this one cause, saving the animals. Working on Kangaroo Island that summer wouldn't change her beliefs, but they would definitely be shaken. Since high school, she had been involved in helping animal welfare, wildlife, and shelters. After graduating with top marks, it was off to university. And her momentum didn't slow down at all. She picked up degrees in ecology, conservation medicine, and anything related to helping animals survive. It was a harsh world out there, but if she could do her bit to minimize the impact on animals, she would be able to sleep at night. By the time she had completed her studies more than five years later, she had a master's degree and was qualified to work basically anywhere in the world, and that's what she did. Kelly traveled everywhere for work, linking up with the world's biggest animal welfare organizations and pioneering some of the most important campaigns in the field. But what was waiting for her after the Australian bushfires in 2020 was shocking, even for a veteran like Kelly. The fires had been receiving a lot of media attention all over the world, but it was hard for anyone to prepare for the true scale of it. She had been called in as part of the Humane Society International Organization because she was head of the disaster response team. And as soon as Kangaroo Island was cleared for people to begin the cleanup effort, she was on the first boat over. She was heading over with others from her disaster team, some journalists, and local authorities. The group could still see smoke coming from the trees in the distance, but they had been assured by the local firefighters that it was safe to cross. When the boat anchored at the dock, they could smell the thick, heavy charcoal that had already suffocated the island for days now. Kelly had seen some pretty awful disasters during her time traveling, but this may have just been the worst. It felt like an apocalypse. By the end of the day, she would be equally horrified and inspired to continue doing her job. As they arrived, a leader from the local wildlife association braced them for what they might encounter. He said that their mission was finding and helping any of the surviving animals and bringing them to safety. Kelly was just anxious to get started. She knew that there were hundreds, maybe even thousands of animals on the island right now that needed their help. Kelly took a team of four with her to the western side of the island, which was away from the main towns and tourist attractions. There would be more chances of finding animals there. After 20 minutes of driving in a beaten up old jeep, they arrived near a drying creek bed and the scene took Kelly's breath away. 
There were burnt, hollowed out trees all along the water, but that wasn't the shocking part. On the ground below lay dozens of animal bodies. They hadn't been able to escape the fire in time and had been trapped, either in the trees on the ground or even in the water because the heat from the flames was so intense. But there was one moment that Kelly will remember for the rest of her life. After she got out of the car and surveyed the area, Kelly made her way down the creek looking for any survivors. That's when she spotted one. It was a bushy little animal standing a few feet away from the water. At first, Kelly thought that it was looking out to the water wondering if the fire was coming back, but the truth was even worse. As she got closer, the features of the animal started to become clearer. It had furry but rough hair, almost like soft sandpaper, and a big black shiny nose. Its ears were big and stuck upright like it could hear everything that was going on, but it was also small and stocky, and given the country where the fires were taking place, it was a national tragedy. It was a koala. A female koala by the looks of it, and as Kelly was almost at its feet, she could see that the koala wasn't looking out to the water at all. It was looking at another koala just a few steps away from it, trying to take it all in. That one hadn't been so lucky. She lay still in the shallowest part of the creek, dead. Kelly could see that this female koala had its head in its hands, grieving over the loss of her friend. Or was it family? It was impossible to tell. But what was clear was that she was feeling totally helpless. Kelly had seen her fair share of koalas before, but never one that had been so devastated and filled with grief. That's why Kelly moved quickly. She grabbed a blanket, slowly picked up the koala, and took it back to the car to get her some food, water, and first aid. After that, Kelly tucked the grieving koala into her puffy green jacket, which she stayed in for hours. Before too long, she was playing with Kelly and her team. It was like they had brought her back to life. These tender moments are so rare and were captured by journalists in a series of photographs. It's not every day you get to witness a grieving koala. No wonder they instantly went viral. The images pulled on people's heartstrings and led to millions of dollars being donated to the Bushfire Relief Fund. Part of that money would go to animals who had lost their habitat and Kelly would make sure to do everything in her power to give them a normal life again. As for the koala, it became a celebrity, and like all celebrities, it got the red carpet treatment. It was taken to a wildlife sanctuary in South Australia while the vegetation and habitat on Kangaroo Island were being replenished. It would take some time, but after Kelly's story had traveled around the world, there were plenty of volunteers keen to help plant trees and rebuild the island. And in the meantime, that little grieving koala would be getting some of the best care available in Australia. It was just one of the hundreds of animals that Kelly rescued on that trip, but it's the moment that she will never forget. Taking an animal out of such a horrible environment and giving them another chance at life is something special. As for that little koala, she is happy and healthy, waiting for her new home in a nice animal sanctuary. What an incredible story. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible tales. And if you can't wait until then, you can head over to my channel to find even more mesmerizing stories.